My motivation was very different than Kakarot's. My motivation was to be the best, to be the greatest Saiyan alive as I always had been, until Kakarot came into the picture, that is. Kakarot's success was like a demon in my head. How could he be a Super Saiyan when I, the prince of all Saiyans, could not? The intensity of my training was maddening. At 450 times normal gravity, a basic training game became a desperate struggle for survival. Even the simplest moves required every ounce of willpower I had. I wasn't sure how long I could sustain the effort without breaking in two. It seemed like the only thing holding my body together was my one desire. To be better than Kakarot. At times I thought I was losing my mind. Why couldn't I obtain what Kakarot had obtained? It didn't make sense. It was infuriating, and it was my fury that kept me alive. I decided to continue my training in the solitude of space, where I would be unhindered by the distractions of the Earth. And when a violent electrical storm erupted in the skies of the planet I was on, I welcomed it. It seemed fitting, like it was an outward manifestation of the storm that was raging inside of me. Then the meteors started coming down, but I was determined to survive and to protect my ship from destruction. It was my only way out, my only way off that nightmarish heap of rubble. I thought I had everything under control, but then the mother of all meteors seemed to appear out of nowhere to claim my ship and my life. Normally, it would have been child's play to blow up that rock, but after training at 450 times normal gravity for so long, it took everything I had, and more! Kakarot! Then something just snapped, something inside of me. No! No more! That's it! I don't care! I didn't care anymore. I didn't care about being better than Kakarot. I didn't care about being a Super Saiyan. I didn't care if I lived. I didn't care about anything. And then, it happened. Yes, that's how it happened. That's how I became a Super Saiyan!